Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. The other day or the other week I made a video about how I live a spiritually conscious sex life. And I remember I mentioned the law of attraction in passing in that video and someone asked me in the comment section if I could make a video about the law of attraction and I was actually quite hesitant to make this video because I'm definitely not an expert. I think there are lots and lots of people out there on YouTube who know way more about it than I do. But I thought I'd make this video about how the law of attraction has changed my life. Oh my God, and maybe this will inspire you. So um, I discovered the law of attraction about 10 years ago, which is when I left my job to follow my dream, <laughs> which was I gave up my job in real estate and I set up a sex blog, which was a crazy, crazy idea. And I think thanks to the law of attraction, I kind of, um, that transition was quite easy. And when I was working in real estate, I had a contact. Um, she was, she could have become a friend, but we didn't really maintain the friendship, but she's very, she had a very significant influence in my life nonetheless. And I haven't seen her since that time. And she gave me her copy of The Secret. And this is where it all started. So we went for a drink one day and she was, we were talking about life in general and I was telling her about how I was gonna leave my job and start a sex blog. And she was telling me, you gotta read the secret, you gotta read the secret. So one day she came into my office when things were kind of near the end <laughs> and um, she gave me this, uh, this book. And, and then um, I just started, what I really did was I, I learned about how the law of attraction works, for example, how you need to imagine you already, you've already achieved what you desire. So I learned about visualization and affirmations. And what I did at that point in my life was I sat down and I wrote a wish list of everything that I wanted in my life. And then what I did was I grouped those wishes, let's say I had a whole page full of wishes, into three main categories and I made three affirmations from them and the affirmations involved being grateful for whatever it is I wanted but hadn't achieved yet and then I always mentioned something I was going to do in exchange to achieve that thing. So so I was, I had these three mantras and I was um, going over them, they were going over, over my head all the time and any time I was on the metro, on the bus or something, they would just come to mind. And especially before sleep at night, I used to do um, some deep breathing and, um, and then really concentrate on those, those um, affirmations and really visualize. I learned to, another friend taught me about visualization and about the, the sensations, not just what it looks like, but what something feels like what it sounds like, the, the colors, etc. So, and I have a really, really active imagination. I've always relied on my imagination 100% for my for my self-pleasuring sessions. I've never resorted to porn. So this resource of imagination, I, I need to, I just realized I needed to use it. I could use it for many, many more things, not just, um, not just for arousal. So I was doing that for a while and then, um, so, so it was very difficult, you know, just to leave your job and set up a sex blog. It's not something that's um, overnight, but amazing things happened to me during that period when I was doing this mantra every day, you know, these um, affirmations every night, etc. And And things I couldn't believe really, it just seemed like I was going on my new path and it was going to be the right one. But then when I got caught up in my new projects, etc., I kind of forgot about the law of attraction, to be honest with you. I think that happens a lot in life. You just, um, um, you get busy with something and then you forget, um, I don't know, <laughs> to learn, I guess, or to improve. You just, you're just being reactive rather than proactive, perhaps. But then there have been times the night that I've had some self-doubts or I've been between projects etc and I really had some self-doubt because being a freelancer is not easy and and then I've always got gone back to this um, system of having a wish list and sometimes what I try to do with this wish list I try to write it in ni nice places for example going to the beach and having the ocean in front of me and just um, writing it there or even a nice cafe or even on a plane is always a good a good um, place as well because I think traveling always helps you with um, to have have a better perspective on on your life 
And so I always went back to the system of writing wish lists and a date. And then sometimes I grouped them together and made new affirmations. And other times I've been going through each thing one by one. But I really got serious about the law of attraction um, last year, starting last March. As before that time I had um, a spiritual awakening and then I just added the law of attraction to the mix. And, and now I've become kind of obsessed with it. Not, I'm not just doing affirmations anymore. I am still doing affirmations, but I'm also doing the 55 times five method where you take an affirmation and you write it down 55 times for five days. I'm just doing a lot of things really that are helping me to, to change my mindset and and grow in many many ways and and it seems to to be working so i've really um, been struggling for a balance in my life and more abundance on all levels and i am starting to surprise myself with with the results so another book i've been reading recently as well which is really incredible um think and grow rich which for me it just seems to be like a prequel to the secret and this is um has lots of it has has affirmations in it as well and visualization imagination etc so yeah I'm, I'm becoming more 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 i'm getting more into the law of attraction every day and also that's the kind of content that i'm actually watching a lot on on youtube and i think a mindset is really important if you want to make a change in your life as well as for other things as well but mindset is so 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 important i really think the law of attraction is helping me a lot anyway i hope you find this video helpful and if you have any comments um, or suggestions for new videos don't hesitate to write to me at venus at venusohara.org or you can add me on instagram at venusohara thanks for watching